Alright, welcome back. Today we're going to be dropping dumb bombs and we are loaded for bear. Got two Mark 84s, six Mark 82s. Dumb bombs, they do not guide themselves. They are not self-guiding. There is nothing you can do once you've released them. They are, it's committed. They are going to drop and hit what they hit. So it's up to you to make sure that you're accurate when you release them. Uh, at, as soon as you release them, gravity, trajectory, speed, and wind take over at that point. There's nothing you can do. So, uh, there are lots of tactics out there of how to drop these things. Uh, different uh, tactical maneuvers like uh, low altitude, high pop-up, um, a bunch of different ways of dropping these things. I'm not going to be going over that in this video. Like I said in, in previous videos, these videos are for... Uh, anyone who's new, who's just starting out in DCS and just wants to drop some bombs, shoot some missiles, shoot down some aircraft, kill some tanks, and have some fun. Uh, or somebody who is familiar with DCS but has no idea how to fly the F-16. Uh, I'm going to do some other airframes too, but right now we're doing the F-16. So uh, let's get started. So first thing, once you get into the AO, the a area of operation, or the AOR, uh, you're going to fence in. What that means is putting your master arm switch to master arm and your navigational lights right there to off. You don't want anyone seeing you and you want your bombs and missiles armed. So we are fenced in at this point and you should have your master arm on. If you haven't turned it on already, turn it on now. Next is we need to put the weapon system into air to ground mode. So to do that, press the air to ground button right here and once you do that your entire weapon system is into air to ground mode so even your gun no longer gives you the air to air uh, gun wavy thing it gives you the strafe uh, and you get the bomb pipper uh, so we're going to oh there we go gotta get yourself I gotta get some more speed here all right so uh, we're gonna drop mark 80 fours first so we can see the weapon right here uh, let me put myself in to hold 84s so 82s right now we're gonna select it with the button next to it to cycle through their weapons and we have 84 we're going to drop two of them at the same time so push that and go to pair instead of single pair and that's it so let's go back to the HSD and let's decrease this mileage from 60 to let's do 30 so 30 is the outer ring 20 10 so it is 10 miles away from us right now in fact let's select that waypoint so waypoint 2 is where we need to go so I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and I'll be right back with you alright so the first thing to note you have this horizontal line that's going down the drop line this is the drop line down here is this little target and this little B dot in the middle that is the impact point so if you line that impact point on the ground that's where the bomb will impact however if this horizontal line is this far up it's actually going to impact like way down here so this is more of the ground horizon uh, but from above so we need to get that line below the impact dot before we can get an accurate uh, uh, drop so we're going to get a little closer to the target we get down here and we can see that we're just under 10 miles. We're getting close to 5 miles. So let's go ahead and start our drop. And we're going to hit the set of cargo. Uh, there we go. We're going to hit the set of shipping containers on the left there. We're going to drop two Mark 84s right in the center of them. And you can see that horizon line is dropping slowly. Let's put out the speed brakes, kind of slow down a little bit. Alright, and once that line hits the pipper, it's going to start, the pipper is going to start rising. There we go. And we're going to drop right when we want it to hit. Right there. That's a good spot. And we're going to pull up, left, pop some chaff and flare just in case there's any man pads down there in there, and boom. Good hit. Chaff flare, when you drop, immediately start popping chaff flare. In fact, I even uh, drop a couple on the way in. 
uh, start getting in the hang of that, uh, habit of that, because sometimes there are man pads near a ground target and they will fire on you. Um, and you will not get an RWR warning because there is no, uh, they're not radar guided, they are heat sink. So uh, next we're gonna do Mark 82. So we'll go back down here. We're gonna go back to our SMS page down here on the bottom. We're gonna hit the button next to SMS. And then up here, we're gonna cycle to our Mark 84s, or sorry, 82s. Click the button, there we go, 82s, we got six of them. And let's switch this to single. We're gonna drop one bomb at a time. So each press of the release button is a single bomb. So let's go into burner, get some speed. And we're gonna pop up and around. Wanna get some altitude a little bit here. Bleeding off a lot of speed. And while we're at it, let's switch over to the HSD page again so we can see our our waypoint. We're gonna line that up with our jet. There we go. And you should see a diamond. And that diamond right there on the ground, that is our waypoint. Alright, so let's get a little closer before we drop. And get about, we're about eight miles right now. Coming on six miles, maybe ish. Getting close here. I'm gonna go ahead and start dropping. So let's push over. Don't ever drop your bombs on a pushover. You drop your bombs on a pushover, you'll fly right into your bombs. <laughs> All right. Let's get there. We're gonna go a little to the right here. I'm not quite lined up the way I'd like. All right, the pipper is out of that horizon. We're ready to start dropping. And I'm gonna start just dropping, here we go. All right, I got a couple that are probably gonna hit a little late. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Alright, that's how you drop dumb bombs. I hope that helps. Uh, have fun, mud sweeping.